You've tweeted that, quote, origin of life research is a scam. So if this is Shakespeare, can we analyze this word? Why, why is the origin of life research a scam? Aren't you kind of doing origin of life research? Um, okay, it was tongue in cheek, but yeah, I think, and I meant it yeah. um, as tongue in cheek. Um, I am, I'm not doing, or I'm not doing the origin of life research. I'm trying to make artificial life. Mm -hmm. um, and I also want to, to bound the likelihood of, may, of the origin of life on earth, but more importantly, to find origin of life elsewhere. But um, let me directly address the tweet. There are many, many good <laughs> chemists out there doing origin of life research, but I want to nudge them. And I think they're brilliant. Like, they're, like there's no, there's, there's no question. The chemistry they are doing, their motivation is great. So what I meant by that tweet is saying that maybe they're making assumptions about saying, if only uh, I could make this particular type of molecule, say this RNA molecule or this f uh, uh, phosphodiester or this other molecule, it's going to somehow unlock the origin of life. And I think that origin of life has been looking at this for a very long time. And whilst I, I think it's brilliant to work out how you can get to those molecules, I think that chemistry and chemists doing origin of life could be nudged into doing something even more profound. And, and so the argument I'm making, it's a bit like right now, let's say, I don't know, the first Tesla that makes its way to, I don't know, into a new country in the world. Let's say, I, let's say there's country X that has never had a Tesla before and they get the Tesla. Russia. <laughs> and they take the test, and what they do is they take the test for apart and say, we want to find the origin of, of cars in the universe and say, okay, how did this form and how did this form? Oh, yeah. And they just randomly keep making till they make the door, they make the wheel, they make the steering column and all this stuff. And and they say, oh, that's the route. That's the way, that's the way cars emerged on earth. But actually we know that there's a causal chain of cars going right back to Henry Ford and the horse and carriage. Mm -hmm. And before that, maybe, you know, um, where people were using wheels. And And I think that, Obsession with the identities that we see in biology right now are giving us a false sense of security about what we're looking for. And I think the origin of life chemistry is in danger of, of not making the progress that it deserves because the chemists are doing this. There's, there's, the field is exploding right now. There's amazing people out there, young and old, doing this. And there's deservedly so more money going in. You know, I used to complain there's more money being spent searching for the Higgs boson that we know exists than the origin of life. You know, why is that? The origin, if we understand the origin of life, we're going to actually work out what life is, and we're going to be out of bound the likelihood of finding life elsewhere in the universe. And most important for us, we are going to know or have a good idea what the future of humanity looks like. You know, we need to understand that although we're precious, we're not the only life forms in the universe. Or that's my very strong impression. I have no data for that. It's just right now a belief. And I want to turn that belief into a more than a belief by, by experimentation. But I coming back to the scam, the scam is if we just make this RNA, we've 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 got this, you know, this uh this fluke event, we know how that's simple. Let's make this phosphodiester, or let's make ATP or ADP. We've got that part nailed. Let's now make this other molecule, another molecule. And how many molecules are going to be enough? And then the reason I say this is when you go back to Craig Venter, when he invented his life form, Cyndia, um, this pla micro, this this minimal plasmid, uh, oh, it's a is a myoplasma, something I don't know the name of it, but he made this wonderful um, cell and said, "I've I've invented life." Not quite. He facsimiled the genome from this entity and made it in the lab, all the DNA, but he didn't make the cell. He had to take an existing cell that has a causal chain going all the way back to Luca. Mm -hmm. And he showed when he took out the gene, the, the genes, and put in his genes, synthesized, the cell could boot up. Mm -hmm. But it's remarkable that he could not make a cell from scratch. And even now, today, synthetic biologists cannot make a cell from scratch because there's some contingent information embodied outside the genome in the cell. And that is just incredible. Um, so there's lots of layers to the scam. <laughs>